this is we're front loading all that heavy work of like creating the proposal and then verifying it and then you know someone has to check it is it right is it wrong and then okay it's good to go and then we go and submit it in our standard you know community focused uh, governance application we're not doing any of that we're going to do this one time and then we're going to save it and then we're going to be done so we're going to do all the work right here um, I need to collect a little piece of data from our forum, uh, Castle Capital, and their delegate address is here. And so we're gonna put that in delegate T. And then rather than coming down and verifying all these parameters, these are protocol specific parameters for the Jeb protocol, I can actually just go in my editor right now and directly copy one from a previous proposal that we already put it that we already created and this is really nice because I'm not going uh, and having to gather all this and um, you know look at a proposal on chain or go call anything like I can it's right here in my editor it's repeatable it's a copy paste from one file to the other there's less chances of error and it's very easy and quick and that's what we like so we're going to check, uh, I just copied from another proposal here. We're going to check, change the new, the uh, collateral address. Okay, great. And the name is Arb add castle capital. And um, we can add a little bit more to the description if we want. But I think this is good for now. And that's it. So because I already had that proposal, I just got to copy it over. It was pretty easy. And now we can run the propose command. So yarn propose dash G for generate dash A for auto, which is going to auto complete some addresses in here. And then we're just going to pass uh, the path of the proposal that we just created or the, the uh, proposal input file that we just created. What that is going to do is it's going to generate a file over here in the gov output folder. And this is going to uh, the file name here is going to help us identify the proposal type, the date that it was created, and then that ID, 4395476. And now that I see that, 4395476.7, um, I can, you know, take, make note of that and uh, let my, you know, engineering manager or somebody else on the team know, okay, here's the ID that we're going to be working with. Um, to prevent any mistakes or any issues with that changing in the future. I can come into the output file and I'm just going to quickly kind of spot check that this looks okay. I expect there to be seven entries in call data. I expect there to be seven entries in targets. I expect seven entries in values. And um, yeah, this, look, this all looks pretty good. And so we are ready to commit this. So add collateral castle capital. Now, this is gonna push up to our code repository like we talked about earlier, and we're done with the first step of generating. Now we have our proposal ID, and we can move on to the validation stage. So the first stage of verification is we come over here to pending proposal. We see 4395476.7. That matches what we expected. Description matches. Cool. This is it. This is the one that I want to review right now. We see the description. We can, we can have a longer description if we want. And we see these steps that it's going to take. It's going to tell us the target, the value, and the call data for each. And then it's also going to attempt to decode the call data based on uh, pulling the ABI over from the block explorer, which is really nice. So now I can see, you know, this got decoded properly as a string. And um, the addresses got decoded to make those much easier to read and verify. And so I want to verify, particularly in this one, that the delegate address matches uh, what was submitted in the forum post. So 5162BEE0 
um, 5162B0. Great, that matches the collateral type. We could verify that easily if we wanted to. It should be ARB token, yep, ARB. And uh, we can spot check this and we can spend more time reviewing it, of course. Uh, hopefully we would have someone else do this and giving them 